Hello everyone, Mark here, and thank you for watching, or I'm hoping you have watched some of the tutorials that I've put out, where unfortunately, again, the frame loss was a hor was just really bad. I hated myself because I just did not double check that work. I was running 2560, 2560 by 1440 recording, that's really why the frames dropped. But anyway, and as it got larger, it kind of messed up. But anyway, what we are doing in this episode is basically I want to go over with it all together the wireframe and basically how it looks without you know I mean I can go back and we can I can hit control Y here and we can go back to this but I want to be able to show you the different color layers and how many layers there are because every time you see a different color that's a different layer right and there's just so many parts and layers that you have to do you can't just do it all on one layer i keep saying layer but you know it's all about really layers and layering when it comes to grading a mesh you're not going to be able to um, make that complex of a mesh it's just going to make it really hard for you it's better if you take certain components and separate them off into like units you know you have the eye you have kind of like so we have the white part of the eye i don't know again bi biology i really know the names i'm just going to go by the color so we have this white part of the eye, right? That's going to be separate from the other extremely detailed or possibly extremely detailed um, colored part of the eye, whatever this is, because it's probably going to be a lot easier to do that in two meshes and then just blend the, edge, uh, um, blend the edges, because when you zoom out, you're not even going to really see anything. And you do, you know, you do opacity work on the edges, and you can even feather it, but I would try and stay away from feathering based on because grading meshes that are feathered just get tend to tend to be very large and it's going to throw the file into a spiral of depression basically anyway it's all about adding layers and when at least in my style again this is not you can do like realistic eye th you know little eye brushes here but there's really no right or wrong way to do this i mean if you're trying to be perfect yes I could have done a better job in the long run probably I could have done more but to me I was satisfied until you know where I was at and I also prefer to do a hand-drawn pen tool shape here as opposed to the brush strokes um, or the more realistic hair look and again that's just a personal preference in some areas so I tend to just go against the grain whenever I feel it and you know take it as it is but that is what I did for that part. So then I layered that over the eyes here. And we can keep moving on. And I want to point out that to get these sharp lines here, you have to have all these gradient meshes are kind of like a topographic map. If you've ever seen a topographic map um, for heights and altitudes on mountains and things like that, it's kind of the same thought process with this. It's like you need tight lines when there's deep elevation changes, you know, when there's steep elevation changes, you're going to have different lines um, very close to each other. Because if, like, if you're like looking bird's eye view, like this is just like a cliff right here. Like these lines are all just like, it's just steep, you know, that's the way it's all kind of conformed in a gradient mesh is how that works. And the less lines you have, the smoother, more skin silky look you're going to get. And the tighter you're going to get, the you know the more detail or the more grit and I'm gonna take that and go into the lips because there's a ton of grit in the lips and, and you could see how detailed the lips are here and it was actually a nightmare repairing this it took a very long time but I'm all about the tedious grind life and if it's gonna look good and I like it I'm all about it and I really was happy how the lips came out one of the best things here I think on the face drawing here is the lips they just look like they're very textured like actual lips but they also still have that watery feel you know and that's how the lips were kind of in the picture i was going off the image um and, you know your drawings are going to change based on the model you have or the image if you're trying to be exact and i was just trying to be as exact as possible um for the lips and i think i did a good job and again here we could see that i have overlaid pen tool hand-drawn shapes as opposed to um, making those lines and shadows appear through the mesh I chose to do them on top of the lips and I felt like that was just a better 
a method for my style and I thought it looked really nice when you zoom out. I thought it looked really good. It kind of has a really realistic look, but if you really stare at it, you kind of were like, oh, that's kind of cartoony. And I was also happy with the teeth, how they came out. And you can see based on the teeth are a little bit more smooth. So there's just less lines, you know, there's just less lines in these teeth. And you can see again with like the topographic map or the steep, we need the shadows in between the teeth here. So you can see as we go smooth, we have smooth tooth, line, 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 really steep values, changes in color quickly, you know, quick changes in color, all these dots, different colors here, quick changes in color when they're next to each other. It's going to create that different texture. Kind of like this, we have this gap here, like tight color, tight color changes right here in this little gap where the chin meets the lips. And speak of uh, could have done this better. I think if the weakest part of this drawing might be this cheek area and th this line right here. Like I didn't really fix this. Uh, that's probably the worst part of it. And I probably could have just done more hours of blending if I sat here for like another five to ten hours. Sure, but at this point, I thought it looked good, and I was happy with it. And I wanted to move on because Mark's got other things to do, you know. And when I'm happy. And I feel like other people will be happy too with the drawing. So I don't stress about it. But pretty much going over this for a quick end cap, you know, outro here, I would say layers, blend shapes, blend the layers together. Don't do everything on one mesh. Um, keep going. There's a lot of hours involved. Do as much as you want to. You know, do what you want to. This is your mesh. It's not anyone else's drawing but your own. You can be realistic, but in your own style. You know, you can always make that cutoff point. And um, don't put too many points without backing up your work. Definitely have multiple. I had like 44 plus files during this process. Every time I drawed a new body part or did a new episode, I made a new file. Save my work because if I ever messed up too much, Deleting points and gradient meshes is a big no-no. It creates a big, big problem, and if you do have to do it, you kind of have to be okay with the results of that area um, or manipulate it in a way because it just really meshes up the lines and it makes it look unrealistic and it's just kind of hard to fix. So you really don't want to do that, and you don't want to overdo it unless you are confident with the shapes that you have and the geometry and everything. Anyway... Let me know if you have any ideas for video. I did actually get a comment about Illustrator videos recently. I've been doing a lot of um, daily post content stuff where I do, because I do a lot of other work. So I posted, I kind of just record my work and then I throw it up because it's easy and it looks good as a time lapse. And it's um, something I can upload while I'm doing other things. But if you want more videos, please leave a request in the comments because I am here for you and I haven't left. So my name is Mark Dematti. You can find me on Marked Arts, which is doing well on Instagram, by the way. It's at 2,100 followers. I'm growing pretty good right now, pretty well, I should say. And you can find that at Marked Arts. That's M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S. A-R-T-S, yes, that's Marked Arts. M -R Dang, I can't even spell. Anyway, I'm just, I already said it. I don't have to say it again. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm thinking about doing a video. I'm at, no, no, I'm not thinking about... I am doing a video right now that is a new mesh uh, portrait and it's going to be one of my pictures. It's a different girl, it's a good picture. And I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to do specific videos like where I'll finish the entire eye in one video and it'll be like, a, you know, that video will be the eyes. Like I kind of did this with this one, but I had like four to six episodes maybe each of like maybe each eye itself. So, like, if I'm going to do one eye, I'm going to try and compact it into one long episode where it's just, like, how to draw an eye or how to draw the lips. So, be ready, because I don't know when they're coming out, but they are. And when I say things are coming out, they are coming out. So, I think this will be a side back burner project, kind of, but anyway, you know, what? But see you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.